Brooklyn and the rest of the New Blast 6 will be at San Diego Comic Con this weekend. Not only that, a brand new episode of the show will debut exclusively for those in attendance. Will we find out where Brooklyn's hiding and where Darius and co are headed on that cargo ship? There's a lot more to get excited about. Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost and in this video, we're going to go over everything we know so far about Chaos Theory Season 2. Someone is hunting us. The voice behind Brooklyn and all of the Camp Cretaceous alumni will be taking the stage at San Diego Comic Con this year. Sunday 28th of July at 3 p.m. PST, that's West Coast time, the official Chaos Theory panel will begin. What's got most fans excited, however, is that the entirety of episode one of season two will be screened live for the audience. Imagine getting to watch the new episode with the very cast and crew that made it. DreamWorks said, get ready for a bit of chaos Comic-Con style. Join the cast and executive producers of Jurassic World Chaos Theory for an exclusive Comic-Con panel, featuring an exclusive screening of the first episode of season two. The panel will feature executive producers Scott Creamer and Aaron Hammersley along with the entire cast of the show. In case you missed it, Jaden from Jurassic Outpost interviewed Scott and Aaron about season one. The link to that video is in the description. Jurassic Outpost will be on the ground at Comic Con this year, so if you are unable to attend the event, then we will have you covered across our social channels and of course right here on YouTube. So Season 2 Episode 1 begins this weekend. If you're lucky enough to be in attendance, then you will be some of the first fans ever to learn how the new season begins. Just remember how great the debut episode of Season 1 was. I can only imagine what the team have up their sleeve for the second season. She said our boss doesn't like loose ends. Comic-Con panels usually last no longer than one hour and provide a platform for the cast and creators to discuss the show openly. To discuss the process from writing to screen and with the cast in attendance as well, we can expect to learn more insight behind the process of creating the characters and creating the stories in Chaos Theory. With the entire cast appearing, we've got Darren Barnett, Kasor Mohammed, Kirsten Kelly, Paul Mikel Williams, Rainey Rodriguez, and Sean Jambroni. We can expect conversations about the show, the characters, and the journey that the campers have been on from Camp Cretaceous through to Chaos Theory and beyond. So what about a trailer? We are anticipating a trailer to announce and reveal more about the second season very soon, potentially even later this week. I have a feeling the trailer will play at the event and then will be uploaded online shortly afterwards. While this is not confirmed, trailers usually come about this far out from release and the release for Chaos Theory Season 2 is expected, estimated to be this September. Season 2 begins in September of this year, give or take, so honestly it's really not that far off. Perhaps a specific release date will be revealed with the trailer or at the panel. So speaking of this second season, what's it gonna be about? We still don't know much about it. We don't know much about the second season, really. We last saw the campers boarding the large cargo ship along with heaps of dinosaurs, and they were heading to an unknown destination. But the Nublar 5 didn't know where those dinosaurs were being sent, and neither do we. Maybe Brooklyn knows. The map visible in the back of Ben's van told us many things and point us to a few potential locations for the next adventure. We know from the very brief tease that we have had from Netflix that we do go back to the jungle, at least for some of the adventure. Do you think we're heading back to the islands or do you think these dinosaurs are heading to a brand new location entirely? The boat could be headed to any number of locations around the world, honestly, and if we follow Ben's map, there are a number of pinned locations that could hint about where we are going next. But what do you think? Where do you think they're heading? Be sure to let us know down below in the comments. Hey Kenji, check this out. It's an invoice for asset nine. Brooklyn was asking your dad about dinosaurs showing up where they shouldn't, buying and selling. Mateo was doing an off the books transfer. Is someone from the DPW selling dinosaurs? Where do you think Brooklyn is hiding? 
In season one, Darius and Kenji located one of Brooklyn's secret apartments and inside located a large duffel bag full of money. The cash included a note indicating that Brooklyn had entered some kind of partnership with Daniel Kahn, Kenji's father. Brooklyn knew about the illegal dinosaur trading and selling that Mateo was a part of. Her investigating to this point, and from what she had been researching through Dark Jurassic, led her to the Allosaurus drop-off location. Unfortunately, a sting operation set up by Dudley Cabrera, meant to warn Brooklyn away from continuing her research. According to Cabrera, that plan backfired and Brooklyn was violently injured, believed to be dead. The Allosaurus was supposed to scare her a little, send a message, Get her to stop. Is that why you sent those Atrociraptors after us? To send us a message? Atrociraptors? What are you talking about? It is established in Chaos Theory that Brooklyn survived and has been monitoring her fellow campers the entire time, and despite now being in hiding full time, is doing what she can to continue her investigation and assist her friends who are now all caught up in the conspiracy. Who is the Handler? The blue-eyed, short-haired, creepy robot raptor lady was an unnerving addition to the character lineup, that's for sure. The alpha of the Atrociraptor pack, we don't learn much about this character, but her role is pretty simple. Ensure the Atrociraptors attack whatever they need to. But who's giving her instruction? We honestly don't know. The Handler knew of Dudley Cabrera. The two seem to acknowledge each other and know each other, but her orders clearly come from somebody above him. Hello? D did you hear me? I said, you really think you're the one who's been calling the shots this whole time? Who do you think the handler works for? There are larger pieces in this puzzle. Alice has only just jumped into the rabbit hole. There is a long ways to go, and I'm sure season two is going to be very revealing, very mysterious, and probably quite exciting as well. Please put your theories below in the comments, as honestly, I love reading what you have to say about this show. The Chaos Theory fans really are the best. Yes, call Sammy. So I wanted to thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. That will really help us out, so thank you again. Where do you think the second season of Chaos Theory will be taking us? And what are your theories on The Handler, on Brooklyn, and on everything else discussed today in this video? Will you be heading to San Diego Comic Con? Let us know down below.